Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. On today's episode, we're going to go through one of the coolest DLC missions within the game, Vanguard Dawn. So in case you guys haven't gone through and bought the Fire Emblem Fates map pack number one, click on the link in the description, get it on Amazon, and then just enter the code and you'll be all set. Now, I'm going to tell you that Vanguard Dawn, I've been playing Vanguard Dawn for about 10 to 15 times. Simply because whenever you beat this level, you get access to a, a Vanguard class that you can give anyone. You get access to infinite Aether skills. Yeah, I know, skills that you can just give to someone. And then you also get two other skills that you can give to anyone. So this is really, really good. So whenever I use my Exalt brand on uh, one of my characters, I was upset because I only got one of them. And therefore, I thought that there would only be one Aether skill in my entire playthrough. But... That's not the case, because right now, everyone and their moms can have Aether, which is super cool. Uh, actually, I'll actually show you. Um, right off the bat, I made Ryoma a Vanguard, uh, because Vanguard is actually pretty cool. You have access to swords, you can A rank it, and of course you have access to clubs as well. And I figured Ryoma, he's got a club named after him, so might as well just make him a Vanguard. So Vanguard is exactly like Ike. Uh, do I have Ike nearby? Yes, I do. So the resemblance is pretty uncanny. I mean, you have the exact same cloak. You uh, I essentially would have a pauldron on the side of you. And uh, you would wield your sword with one hand and do some pretty cool stuff. So looking at it, Ike, the exact same class. So Ike is a Vanguard. So you can make, it's only for male only too. So let's just go in, let's beat the chapter. I'll show you guys what it's all about. And we'll have a lot of fun. Uh, of course, I haven't been playing Fire Emblem uh, Fates too long since our paralogs. And uh, now that I'm getting back into it, I'm really just like grinding all my characters and giving them the best abilities. So anyway, let's move over to Dragon's Gate where you get the DLC. Uh, and we're going to go through and play DLC. Uh, we're going to do Vanguard Dawn. We're going to load this up. As you guys can see right over here, you can beat it in five turns. So that's going to be really fun. Especially if you have auto battle and you turn all the animations off, you can beat it fairly quickly and grab all three of the dropped scrolls. So this is going to be great. And uh, now we know Anna. Anna has been a staple in the Fire Emblem series for a long time. She's a thief, merchant. Uh, you guys know her. She's a cute redhead and she's, she comes from a long line of different Annas apparently. Uh, welcome, one and all, to the Outrealm Trial Grounds. If you don't think you're tough enough yet, you will be once you finish this challenge. Uh, if you manage to come out on top, you'll get something nice in the bargain to boot. Uh, what's the challenge? Glad you asked. Your job is to defend this historic fortress. I gotta say, the odds are against you. There's a boatload of enemies here, and they look like they mean business. If you think you, you can hold your own, then let's get this battle underway. Alright, so this abandoned fort is really, really cool looking. Let's take a look at it. Uh, you're going to start right over here at the very top of the fort, and you're going to work your way down, while, in fact, everyone's going to work their way up, because there is a spot right over here that they can seize and give you a game over, so be very careful about that. Now, the bottleneck routes are one of, like, one, two, three. There are three bottleneck routes right over here in the stairway. They can essentially come up over here. They can break this wall, this partition that has only 40 HP, and go straight up to the middle. Or they can come over here on the right side. Now there's also, there's a corridor over here that you can bring one of your characters on board. The main bosses, well at least you finish the episode, either you survive uh, 12 turns, which is not really what you want to do because you want to destroy everyone, um, or you take care of the bosses. Now the boss right over here has the scroll called Heavy Blade. This allows you to gain the skill. You can give the skill to anyone, which is super cool and non-existent in any of the Fire Emblem Fates game yet. You can't just give skills to someone. You have to inherit them or learn them, but now this is you can give it to someone. Heavy Blade is pretty good, actually. Uh, Heavy Blade, the unsubtle fighting style grants plus three to attack, or strength plus three, um, but speed minus one. So this is going to be good for your physical attackers. Next person is right over here. Uh, this one is Aether, and we all know what Aether does. Uh, gives the skill Aether. Aether is so good. I'll actually show you. Um, I gave Aether to Abdallah over here. Using Soul and Luna in succession when attacking, the trigger is half of your skill stat. 
So my skill stat is 35, so half of that, 17% uh, chance of it triggering. But then at the same time, if you have abilities like uh, Quixotic or Hoshin and Unity, that's going to definitely boost that chance up. And then, of course, our last person over here is Veteran Intuition. Grants a unit the skill Veteran Intuition, and that what that does is that grants 15 dodge during battle. So that's pretty decent if you have um, a unit that's pretty fragile and doesn't have too much defense. Give them more dodge and allow them to dodge more attacks. All right, so this is going to be a pretty long one, I can say. Uh, you guys want all the animations on, so we're going to give you the full nine yards. Uh, let's actually go through and switch up our people a little bit here. Um, certain people I won't need. Uh, I don't need Tsubaki or Sakura. I don't need Kagero either. I mean, I could bring Izana. I was starting to actually use Izana. Uh, and Shiro, and Asugi, and Hisame. I'm starting to use all these guys, so uh, I've been kind of slow on my regular uploads because I've been playing a lot off-screen and grinding my characters. So let's do this. Where's my Vanguard Ryoma? Here we go. Ryoma's so good. All right, so Ryoma's going to come this way. Selkie. Oh my gosh, you guys should see my Selkie. My Selkie's got all of the breaker skills, so she's untouchable. Uh, she got Sword Breaker. Lance Breaker, Axe Breaker, Shuriken Breaker, and Tome Breaker. So anything you want to throw at her, she's going to nimbly dodge out of the way and beat you up. Uh, Takumi, where are you, Takumi? Takumi over here, we're going to actually bring him this way. Uh, we have... Rajat, where's Kaldori? I could have sworn I brought Kaldori. I want her if I didn't bring her. Oh, here we go. She's, uh, she's around here somewhere with the stick. Oh, here we go. Kaldori will actually bring over here. Um, I do want to make sure that Kaldori, I actually gave her some pretty good, um, pretty good skills. Uh, trample, counter, uh, I can go with, uh, I can go with Gale Force instead of Trample. That's fine. Renewal, just in case um, she loses some health, I can give it back to her. But uh, yeah, essentially I'm going to have her with uh, Counter and Counter Magic, Aether, if I can get her with uh, Quixotic, which I'm working on, that's going to be so good. Alright, so she can handle all these guys by herself. Uh, these two guys can go over here, and we pretty much have backup all throughout, so this is going to be pretty easy peasy. Let's go through and let's just fight and see if we can beat all these guys. I know we can, because we've beaten it in five turns before. So, defeat the bosses or survive 12 turns. Alright, we have our animations on, so right off the bat, I'm going to bring her over here with a little bit of Ox Spirit. And by her being alone, she'll easily be able to go through and uh, destroy everyone. There we go, and that's a first instance of Aether, where it's Luna and Soul. You're going to recover a little bit of health and dish out a lot more health than usual. So super cool. Um, yeah, yeah, Keldori has been like my favorite unit right now. Boom, Ox Spirit, get that crit. Good. Alright, so she's doing pretty well. She can handle everyone over there. Ryoma, I am actually going to... Um, I guess I can replicate Ryoma. I gave him that, of course. Uh, he's got Replicate, and Abdallah's going to come over this way. We're going to Replicate. We're going to do Double Vision over here. Almost like Quintuple Vision. So we're going to Replicate this. I'm going to bring uh, Shiro over here. We're going to break this wall and just go downward. Uh, we have, let's see, Midori. We're going to Replicate. Now this is actually evening up the odds because of all the Replicating involved. So I'm going to go over here, and I guess we're going to knock this person out with uh, Selkie. And you can see that hit hit percentage on, on the enemy is zero. That is awesome. If you can achieve that, you're going to be golden. And uh, yeah, this Selkie is unstoppable. Literally missing everything that gets, get th that gets thrown at her. She's really good. You're not going to get a lot of experience in this, uh, this particular DLC mission, but uh, what you are going to get is... Uh, a lot of kill counts, and kill counts are important in case you want to bring on the different statues in your My Castle. And of course, bringing on the statues in your My Castle has a good benefit because it helps raise the stat caps of all of your characters. There we go, getting Aster right off the bat, throwing all these shurikens, boom! That was awesome. 
Okay, uh, and then I guess Rajat can come on through as well. Rajat's pretty good. Alright, so these guys are going to try to do some damage against me, against me. This may actually hit. Okay, good. Nice teleportation. Good. And I hope you guys don't mind me holding down the A button and uh, kind of briefly skipping, or else we'd be here all day. So here goes a guy that's going to attempt to do one damage, and he did. Wow, by throwing a javelin. This guy's going to do 21. Wow. Oh my. Whoa, Spendthrift. What are you doing? Okay, Asugi, you need to. You need to not be a liability, that's for sure. I may end up pairing Asugi with Shiro. What are you doing with Spendthrift? Spendthrift, he spends a gold bar in order to do more damage? I thought that Asugi was going to die. Okay, so these guys are breaking down the door. Oh my. That guy could have just fired at Asugi. Why didn't he? Oh, maybe he didn't have anything. He has a steel bow. He could have easily fired at Asugi. That's interesting. All right, well, we're just going to pair these guys up, just so I don't potentially lose a character. Wow, that was really ridiculous. Boom. Wow, right through him and stepped on him. Wow, I'm like right on his head. Wow, no respect. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so we're going to go on through and we're just going to... The double Takumis are just going to destroy these guys. Really nothing to it. Just destroying them. Just taking souls. And that's what's cool about Takumi. I mean, the Fujin Yumi is like one of the best weapons. And of course I gave him Aether as well. So he does a Luna hit and at the same time just goes through. So good. Alright, Rajat using the Ox Spirit. Here we go. 43. Oh my gosh. Aether activating everywhere. And a crit Aether to boot. Boom! Good job. Alright, so we're going to actually move on down this way because Abdallah... Oh man, Abdallah wants to really sink his teeth in. Alright, here we go. We're going to go Bless Bow. Now, I like the blessed weapons, because although they initially lower your defense by a little bit, um, what happens is that at the end of the turn, you're guaranteed to get 10 HP back, which is really good, I would say. So if you guys don't have any of the blessed weapons, I would highly recommend getting them and utilizing them, especially if you're grinding in the DLC uh, boo camp. That's going to be perfect for you. All right, so here we go. This guy, he has a silver caddy. Which is pretty strong, so I would watch out. And a Silver Caddy can attack from one to two spaces away. But of course, my Kaldori is just too good. And uh, she's going to dodge it and of course retaliate with an Aether. Oh my gosh. Aether firing all over the place. Crit Aether. Boom. 78. Now, I made my Kaldori a Basara because I want to give her Quixotic. And uh, Quixotic is going to be really good for her. Because, for starters, she has Aether, and then pairing it up with Quixotic gives you additional chance to trigger the offensive skills that you have. So, Kaldori, man. And the only way that I could have gotten that on Kaldori was, was to become best friends with Rajat. Because uh, Rajat has the base class for uh, Basara, and I was able to use the, uh, the partner seal, or the friendship seal, in order to do it. So there's a lot of there's a lot of sealing and transferring involved within this game, especially once you get on your mind what you exactly want to do, uh, you'll be all set. So these four guys, all right, I might as well just go auto and move them. There we go, done. Okay, broke down the door. Thank you. And now here they come pouring in. Now Selkie, of course, is going to be guarding this area right up top because, of course, Selkie. <laughs> is going to knock out everyone without getting hit at all. And of course, her ability, uh, what is that, playful? Or what is it called? Play things. At the end, whoever she's touching at the beginning of her turn will automatically, I guess, get like a percentage of damage? I don't know if it's five damage or if it's something else, but that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right, so we're going to go Selkie. Uh, I'm going to bring Shiro. Can actually go back up. Oh my gosh, Shiro can replicate? Okay. Even more characters on screen. I'm, I'm surprised that the game hasn't crashed already. 
We're actually going to go this way. The Takumi twins. We can indeed do the Spy Yumi deal just by going like this. Watch. We're going to bring our Spy Yumi right over here and double up. We're going to go double Spy Yumi against this guy just to guarantee the one hit KO or the one battle KO. So that's looking pretty good. Way to go, Takumi. All right, moving on now. Now the floodgates have opened. Uh, we really can just use our Kodachi. We don't need any follow-up attacks because Abdallah is super strong. And he doesn't need anything. You don't need anything, dude. You are super strong. All right, so I'm going to go over here. We're going to knock this guy out. We're going to go double Abdallah. Do the roll 360, knock his clothes off. Not as cool as Sophie, though, mind you. All right, Mr. Raijinto, uh, let's actually attack with our Ryoma's club. Because you have yet to see Ryoma use his actual club. Even though it looks like a sword. Boom! Wow! Like Link from Smash Bros. Link's down air. That was awesome. I was not expecting that. Let's actually use Ryoma's club again. I haven't really seen all these animations. Whoa! That is clearly Aether! Whoa, that is clearly Ike's up and B in Smash Bros. So cool. Throw it up in the air and then land right on them. That is very awesome. I'm glad that they did that. So cool. So cool. Look at these guys. I can actually just snipe them down. Silver Naginata, Steel Bow. Yeah, let's, let's snipe these guys down. 21. Okay, that's not going to work. But if I double on him... Silver Naginata, I'm going to use Moonlight. Azana is not that strong. <laughs> Great. I was going to say, I really don't want to lose Azana right now. I don't want him to be a liability. That's 29, 100%. We can knock him out. Get in that double. Whoa. Two. Moonlight looks pretty cool. I usually don't use it, but uh, with Moonlight, you get uh, instant health at the very beginning, or at the end of the turn, which is pretty good. All right, Spirit Katana, we're going to go over here with Kiragi, we're going to wait. Uh, and who do we have left? Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, we have our good friend Kaldori. Now, ever since doing the paralogue with Kaldori, I have been loving this character. She is so good. She looks like Cordelia from Fire Emblem Awakening. Just everything about her is just really the best. So, I can actually end off this guy. I can end him. No, I can't, unless I get a crit, but I've got Ox Spirit, so I don't know if I'm going to get a crit. This is the um, the boss who is holding Aether. Of course, he's got the most defense out of everyone, and you can't double on him because of his ability. His ability only allows uh, single attacks and no follow-ups. So he is choosing to hit me with eight rather than sparing his own life or allowing his healers that are really bombarding him to give him some healing. Wow, bad choices. Okay, so now I got the Aether, which is good. So all we need to do... Oh, 21. Oh, 35. Come on, dodge it, dude. Oh, good. Wow, that was kind of a liability. Oh, my. Here's 10 damage. Maybe. Spent What do you... That scares me. That scares me so much. All right, come on, Kaldori. I know you can make this. I need you to activate a couple more Aethers. Okay, this guy's going to throw a spear at me because I'm holding the Spy Yumi. I can only attack from three spaces away, so that leads me... Oh, that leads me to get hit a lot. So Izana's going to take these hits, that's fine, but retaliate back with not killing. Okay. All right, Ragnarok is going to do four damage, potentially. Wow, no way. Just step back and launch this Kodachi right at him. No, oh, of course, you would heal him 24. What a joke. Okay, now these guys are moving up. So I really need to... I just need to plow through these guys. That's what I have to do. All right, Izana is going to be healing. That's good. I'm kind of worried about Karagi. Um, I don't have a weapon, but I guess I could just wait right here and attack this dude. 18, yeah, yeah, we'll do this. 18 plus 13, 14, and 4. I'll be okay. Yeah, that's exactly 31. Awesome. Good job, young ones. 
All right, we're gonna go with Selkie over here and attack this guy. <laughs> this guy's got nothing. Selkie is like one of the best units now. Hands down, she's not gonna get hit by anything. And she deals very good damage. Ooh, big old pounce. And kind of sits like a cat. Got it. All right, uh, moving on. Izana can do some work against these guys one more time. 23 plus 12. That's going to be good. That'll be enough to kill him. Excellent. Moonlight. Boom, boom. Double Izanas. You guys have never seen any Izana gameplay on my channel at all. But uh, he's, he's pretty decent. He's pretty decent. Okay, so who is going to be in charge up front? I don't want anyone... That's the thing. Here we go. Just gonna knock her out. Sorry, I would spare you, but you're kind of an enemy. So I need to make sure that uh, you don't heal anyone else. I would usually spare her. I would show mercy on the healers. Alright, so moving on. Uh, Takumi, let's just knock this guy out for attempting to hit you with that javelin earlier. Double Takumi's, or that spear. Here we go, Aether. If I lost health, I would get it back with this crit Aether right here. Who needs a healer when you have Aether, right? Am I right? Alright, so... These guys. Kaldori needs to start doing some... Some work here. 35. Yeah, these guys really aren't going to do much. This guy's got a Tomahawk. Kaldori can just come on in and just easily wreck everyone with the Ox Spirit. Or the Crit Ox Spirit. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right, Gale Force. <laughs> that's a thing. Gale Force is pretty good. Uh, I know in Fire Emblem Awakening, Gale Force was so broken that you could pair up your units and then Gale Force everywhere. So they nerfed it a little bit. But uh, with Kaldori, I mean, she's just a, a one-woman army, and I really like her like that. She just goes wherever she needs to. She has the ability renewal, so she'll get 30% of her health at the very beginning of the turn. And, uh, of course, she's got Aether, she's going to be soon to be having a Quixotic, and all that good stuff. So here we go, Mr. Raijinto in action. Busting out the Aether. Boom! Looking like Ike, man. We like Ike. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to toss some Kodachis at these healers, I don't know. Boom! Knock her shirt off? I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't look, I promise. Alright, uh, where else are we going? We're really just gonna knock these guys out, I guess. Okay, this guy is gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Dude, knock his little helmet off. And of course, my characters are super leveled up, so just deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's go with this guy. Spies Yumi, 32 plus 14. You're done. Boom! And it's cool because although Midori doesn't have a Spies Yumi, since she's paired up next to him, she's going to launch one from four spaces away. How crazy is that? That's like a plot hole. All right. Actually, I should have brought Takumi over there. We're going to end right here because the only person that I want to go down there is Selkie. I don't trust anyone else. Wow! Doing some damage! Alright, well you gotta get that damage back, buddy. Look at this! Ooh! Boom! Jump and stab. They're going after Mr. Raijinto. Look at these guys not attacking either. Alright, well... Okay, Raijinto's here. I'm actually gonna heal him up. All right, Ryoma, good job. Hey, Abdallah, leveling up to 36, and I get a plus one in strength. I mean, my stats are pretty much capped right now, so there. Uh, how about we do this? 26 plus 15, Moonlight plus... Uh, who's that with me? Uh, Hisame? Yeah, Hisame's gonna somehow go through the wall and knock him out, so that's good. I like that. And then we're just pretty much clearing the way from the top of the stairs over here, which is going to be a pretty viable strategy, considering the fact that they don't really have any ranged weapons to do anything with it. 
All right, we're going to go here. Uh, 40 times 2 plus 12, that's 92 attack. Boom, knocking him out. Good job. All right, uh, we're going to bring you uh, with your Blessed Lance, doing 25 damage. That's going to be good. 76% to hit. There we go. You're not going to miss a crit. Oh, that was some pretty cool uh, Naginata work over there. Kind of like twirling a baton. Good job. And as you can see, I made him a Basara as well in order to get Quixotic to pair it up with Aether. So that's going to be super good. All right, we're going to go over here. Of course, I could bring Takumi. And we can attack this one. 29 plus 18 with the Spy Yumi. Of course, why wouldn't I? Nice, dude. Boom! Takumi is like one of the best characters in the game. Hands flipping down. Oh, I can't attack that guy. Dang it. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so I guess Keldori can knock this one out. That's fine. Go ahead. It's just a little old healer. Forgive me for throwing the many oxes at you. Okay, and I get Gale Force. Um, let's, I guess... Um, there's really nothing to do. Nowhere to go. Where This is pretty much end game right over here. We'll knock this guy out. And like I said, if you're not as powerful in the game, you want to stay up top a little bit and then slowly make your way down. You don't necessarily want to blitz it because you have 12 turns in order to go to the bottom and get the bosses. Throwing this tomahawk, wow. Ooh, wow, okay. All right, so more guys are coming out here. Watch, we're going to bob and weave right through here. We're going to bob and weave right through these guys, and we are going to knock this one out. But before we do so, I could actually go in here and attack one of these guys. 34. Yeah, you want to maximize on your kills and maximize on your... Wow, <laughs> that was cool looking. You want to maximize on your experience as well. Because as soon as you destroy the boss, then it's going to be game over and you just get everything. Look at that, man. That's that's what I call aptitude. Are you kidding? He's not even holding aptitude and he got that really good stat boost. Alright, so you can actually go over here sidelong. Uh, we can go Setsuna's Yumi or Illusory. Yeah, Illusory's going to be good. Let's do that. It's like father and son right here. Boom! Looking good. We need to, we need to rack up more kills with the kids because I want to get their statues. So that's the only reason why I'm doing that. So Izana, I actually want to get his statue. Moonlight is going to do some damage. 25 times 2 plus 11. I'm going to only get hit 8, potentially. Quick math, baby. Moonlight, wow! Dude, the animations on some of these characters are really cool. I should really start putting them on more. Usually I turn off the animations whenever I'm going through and playing um, normally. You know, the, none of these characters need anything, so I don't need those guys. So let's just bob and weave on through. Let's knock this guy out. Uh, we're going to do 32 times 2 Rabbit Spirit, and we're going to grab our uh, Veterans something or other, whatever the item is. Boom! And zero hit. I like that. Zero's all the way down. Selkie is going to take me to the end of the game. I'm just saying. Veteran Intuition. There we have it. In six turns, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. That was incredible. Way to hold the line against that non-stop onslaught. Your prize for making it through in one piece is the Vanguard's brand. With this thing, you can be just like a certain radiant hero of old. Hmm, I wonder who she's talking about. That's all I've got for now. Looking forward to seeing you again at the next challenge. Cool. So there we have it. Now we have uh, the ability Aether, and we have some extra tomes that we can use those skills for. So let's go through, and I'll, I'll show you exactly what, what we mean by using them. So let's, uh, let's give that to Shiro. I actually wanted to give it to Shiro, because Shiro, I'm working on Basara to level 15 to give him Quixotic. And then once he has that, that's going to boost the chances of Aether happening. And if everyone has Aether, we're going to be set and good to go for endgame. Not like we aren't already, of course, we're super overpowered. And that's the fun part about Fire Emblem Awakening, is seeing how strong you can get your entire team. A lot of you guys out there are like, oh, hey, maybe you should play without leveling up so much. And you're like, really? So you want me to turn all... 
leveling off off like you what is that anyway so we're gonna go over here we're gonna use this aether grants a unit the skill aether so just by using it uh, if you have no skill slots available it will be added to your skill list so let's go ahead and do that and then of course uh, you can use a vanguard brand and essentially turn him into the otherworldly class leader of a band of heroes uses swords and axes I can make him a vanguard if I wanted to or you can make any male unit a vanguard so let's go to equip skills, uh, Shiro, Shiro, uh, I guess he was kind of towards the top, so Shiro, let's go Aether, trade for Soul, actually, I should trade for um, Luna, and then trade Soul for something else, ooh, wow, quick draw, spend thrift. when attacking, expends a held gold, yeah, I don't need that, veteran intuition's pretty good for dodging, Rend Heaven's good. Quick Draw's good. We'll go with Quick Draw. We'll trade there. And then, of course, what I like to do is I like to range my Aether on top. So that when I go through, you can see who has Aether and who doesn't. So one, two, three. Aether Quixotic. Uh, four. Five. Uh, six. Seven. Mm, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, so there we have it. Yeah, 11, 11 Aethers on my team. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I love this game so much. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We're actually going to go... No, not Mitomo. No, we're not going to talk about Mitomo. <laughs> Mitomo is a pretty good game, though. Uh, we're going to talk about Fire Emblem Fate. So that is going to be it for the episode. I have truly and dearly enjoyed Vanguard Dawn. This is one of the coolest DLC maps. And I would say one of the most beneficial, aside from getting... Um, you know, the uh, the rare weapons one or the experience one. I think that if you guys didn't already get this map pack number one, you need to do it. Because it's like every week they're giving a new DLC content. Before you know it, all of them are going to be out and you're going to have fun because you purchased the DLC map pack. So please do so. In the description, there's a link for all of that information. Head on over to Amazon. You can get it. Input the code and go from there. If you guys want to see more DLC available, you guys can check out the playlist. Links are in the description for that. Or if you guys want to see my playthroughs of all of the different storylines, you guys can take a look over here. Birthright, Conquest, Revelation, all that fun stuff. Click on the annotation or if you're watching on mobile, feel free to click on the description in there. All the links are there. Thank you guys so much for your support. We are still doing the giveaway for the Fire Emblem Fates Collector's Edition, which I see at the corner of my eye over here. So uh, that's going to happen at the very end of Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, once we finish the end game chapter, which is sooner than you think. So we're going to keep on going. I have a lot more DLC to show you guys, so stay tuned. And of course, thank you so much for clicking the like button. Thank you for sharing the video. And above all else, thank you for subscribing for more. Fire Emblem Fates. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.